Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so who allowed, allowed it to happen? Uh, so what are you yeah, talking exactly. about? If this guy is going to hijack, let's go somewhere quiet. No, 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 because if he's going to hijack, we only talk about the Bible. If that's okay with you? What topic you want to talk about? What topic would you like? And if I would allow it? How about you? You are Muslim and Christian. If you have a question, okay. How about how about the talk topic on the way? Yeah. Yeah, let's go there because they're shouting. It's just getting disturbing. In the microphones, that's why. <laughs> yeah? Okay. By the way, my name is Hashim. How are you? Good, good, good. What's, what's your name? My name is Stella. Della? Stella? Stella. Stella, Stella. Okay. Yes, yes. Hi, Stella. How are you doing? Good. Where, where are you coming from today? I came from America yesterday. All the way from the other side of the pond. Okay, that's good. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Nice to see you. Um, so yeah, we, we, I'm a Muslim. We come here on uh, Sunday, Speakers Corner, have dialogues with Christians, Jews, atheists, you know, anyone basically and everyone. Okay? So uh, with regards to Christianity, because you're a Christian, I'm going to ask you a question based on, um, on your Bible. Okay? In terms of the rights of a woman okay do you think that the bible treats both men and women as in in in, a, in an equal way yes you believe so okay what about uh, the rights of a woman for example if she's abused you know physically mentally however by her husband does she have the right to divorce okay Bible clearly said that God hates divorce. One. So if a husband and a wife they having disputes and the man is abusing her, she have the right to separate from the man according to the Bible. She also have the right to divorce. But if she do divorce, she will remain single until the man dies, or she forgive him and go back. Where in the Bible does it say she can divorce if she's been abused? The Bible did not, if the, the Bible, I'm quoting is from the first Corinthians chapter 7, where it was talking about the adultery, adultery. The no, we're not talking about adultery, we're talking about abuse. Uh, okay. Abuse like, and adultery are two different things. Okay, fine. I said physically, fine. mentally abuse. Fine. If, if biblically, there's no way in the New Testament I can recall the Bible saying that if the woman abused, however, when the man abused the woman, you have the right to separate from the man according but, to the first Corinthians. But not divorce. Well, if you, you can take it further, if you must divorce, yes, you can divorce. But is that based on you or based on the Bible? The is that Bible, your opinion or is that the Bible? If you if you want to divorce, yeah, you can divorce. But when you divorce, no. But is that your opinion or is no, that from the Bible? I'm giving you the criteria for divorce, my Blakey. Okay, so that's what I want to see. Where is that in the okay. Bible? The criteria for divorce in the Bible is this. Is what? If you divorce, regardless of what reason that you want to divorce now, regardless of the reason, if you divorce, mm -hmm. fine, you can divorce, but you have to remain single. Where does it say that? Until... Where does it say that in the Bible? That you are able to divorce for any reason and you have to remain single until that... If you that divorce... Listen, let me finish. Don't yeah, talk yeah. me short. If you divorce, you have to stay single until your partner dies. Where does or, it say that? I'm going to show you relax. Yes, yes. Or you reconcile with him. Okay. Now let's see the evidence. Go first, uh, Can you go to the Bible on you open it and read it for us. Okay. Remember she said divorce in for any reason. Any reason. So, I'm going to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. To the married, I give this charge, not I but the Lord. The wife should not separate from her husband, but if she does, 
she should remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband. And the husband should not divorce his wife. That's what I'm saying, not divorce. So well, you said, said she can divorce for any reason. He said, but that is not in the Bible. That is your opinion. No, that's not my opinion. Bible said that if she, if Bible did not give the, the reason, so to speak. Okay. Said, so once if, again, can a woman divorce in Christianity? That's what we just read. For any she, reason other she, than adultery. If she, the reason for divorce in the Bible mm -hmm. is. Either you divorce because the man is uh, the woman committed adultery, or the man, or the, the man, woman, the yeah. woman, or the man. Yeah, it yes. applies to both. Or you reconcile, no, 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 which means either you forgive the yeah. person, or you or you divorce the person. But if you divorce the person, you should remain single. No, no. Where does it say other than adultery you can divorce? That's the answer I want from you, from the Bible, not your opinion. If you can show me that from the Bible. Then it'll be great. That's what the Bible uh, says. He said you can divorce because of adultery. Yeah. Yes. If you can, if you. Okay. So other than adultery, you can't divorce. Am I right? Based on the Bible. Based on the Bible, other than adultery, you cannot divorce. Good. So earlier you actually were telling not the truth, because you said she can divorce for any reason. The only the only criteria is that she has to remain single until her partner dies. That is if your statement. Divorced. It's on camera. Yes. So it is your opinion. Divorced. It's not from the Bible. No. If she divorce, because people these days people have lots of reasons to divorce. That's just the truth. So, but biblical injunction for divorce. Okay. Is, so, it is because of adultery. Yeah, I know. So adultery is the only reason for which a woman in Christianity can divorce. Am I right? Yes. Good. Now, what about a woman who is getting abused by her husband? She can only separate, but she can't divorce, and she cannot remarry. Until the man dies. Yes. Okay. So, so why should this? Why should this woman who is being abused suffer? from such a stringent condition imagine if she's like 18 years old yes she got married the husband was good initially but then he turns to alcohol or drugs or bad friends bad company and he starts abusing her now this 18 year old young woman yes she can only separate from him she has to live all her life as a single woman isn't that isn't, isn't she being punished already once by her husband okay. and now by the religion as well where well, she has no right to even get married let because she'll be called an adulteress is it right if she marries again let me respond based on Ma matthew 5 32 let me respond yeah go on if this woman separates mm -hmm. that's a period you gave the man to change to ask for forgiveness to repent this man repents and come back to me let me use myself as an example if he comes back to me mm. a changed person your light is on by the way can I ask, sorry your batteries are being used can I, ask you a question, please? I should i should forgive him and reconcile with him so the bible is trying to tell you the importance of forgiveness okay so if this man changes and repents mm -hmm. he can't beat me again i should forgive him and okay me. what if he does not change then what if he does not change i will remain single and pray exactly so you have been punished for his so, for I, his mistake ask, do you not realize that can I ask him a question? no bible is not do you not realize yeah, that me, ask him a question. Right, can I, you answer this question before I, you are, I, before you ask another question I, 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 no, I don't believe bible is punishing of course me if she, no no if you are going to be married to a to a man who abuses you and then you separate from him hoping that he will change my question to you was good if he changes well and good for both of you but the alternative if he does not change then are you not being punished because of his fault by your religion okay first of all the ultimate end is to make heaven and i don't need marriage to go to heaven that's just the truth okay so, so you're okay to be abused yes. remain single all your life wow i said uh, brother hashim don't say that that's not what i said, I said you said you said no, there's no other alternative said, that is it I, listen remain listen, separated listen. that's what you said i said if i remember, i would say pray for him if he's beating me that's the truth then i will remain single and pray for him to change if he does not change mm -hmm. i can say that i'm not marry him again no you can't marry anyone not, not only him me you cannot I'm marry anyone i'm, not, wait, wait. I'm going There's to obey the bible i'm not going know. to brother something hold on know. let me finish with brother here millions yeah. of women suffered listen, because of this listen, exactly listen, yeah brother, 1, brother, like, hold on. personally i'm going to obey the came. bible yeah once my husband is beating me i'm going to separate from him yeah for him to repent yeah if he does not my ultimate goal is to make heaven and I don't need marriage to go to heaven. Okay, that is you personally. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. If you want to, look, if you want to remain celibate all your life after yes. he abuses you and you support, yes. but yes. what about, imagine there is an 18-year-old girl, 
she got she got married to this man. She should remain single. She doesn't need marriage. No, you can't forever. tell her what to do. But she's disobeying the Bible. Ah, exactly my to, point. We have to you obey see, the Bible. You have to. You have to obey the Bible and remain yeah, have to. remain in that situation Listen, where she can't get married. Yes, because she's in the twenty first century, yeah, a Christian woman can't get divorced. Right, Ashim, let me ask you a question. My yeah. Bible. Go on, Adnan, you want to make a point. I, I just yeah. want to say Hold on. Hold yeah. on. I'm waiting for... Hold on. Let me ask you when she's free. Let me just say. Okay. You see, Christianity is about to about carrying your problem. That's what we call mm. cross, to follow Christ or follow God, whichever we want to describe it. So you're saying Christian is about abuse? I didn't say that. Listen, brother, okay. don't be like that. No, because the problem, she was oh, getting abused. Stop. I said, I'm yeah. going to run away from Do you mind abuse. not touching if you, if you don't Sorry, mind? Sorry, I'm, okay. no, no. I'm going to run away from the abuse. Yeah. But me, me, I'm going to be faithful to the scripture. If I'm a Christian, I have yes. to obey this Bible. Yeah. I'm going to remain But, but Stella, did you not see the problem? The problem is you cannot get married even if you wanted I, I, to. Yes. You can't have children. You can't get married. That yes. is that is a punishment. Auntie, that is I a second punishment. I have a question. I, I can get I married. That man, that okay. man, that man, that man, that man. That's what? Bible right. said that until one ahead, partner please. dies, I'm going to separate from him. And then you have a turn. Until he dies, if he dies, I can be married. I'm making a point. I'm not asking a question. Okay, thank you. Okay, go on. So yes, yeah, so the, the point that my friend Sela is making is that, you know, for us, it's more important to serve God. Now, um, in Islam, for example, is it a sin to watch porn? Of course it is. It is, okay. So, um, you know, it, it, What is it? Is it in me, Christianity as well? Me, of course, let me make okay. a point, so. please. Thank you very much. So, in Christianity, Jesus says that even if you look another woman with lust, that's adultery. So now, the reality is that I would say 99% of abusers, they watch porn, and so therefore uh, a woman is set free. In Islam, however, look at the difference. In Islam... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me make a point. Thank is that a loophole she's using? Islam, Did you notice that? In Islam, no, no, no. you don't it. get a choice. That's a loophole. If your husband, if your husband you, wants to... Let me finish, are you thank you. A question if, making a I'm, making, I, I may, I'm making a statement. Thank okay. you very much. In Islam... The difference is that a man can take a, a second, third, fourth wife and he doesn't even have to tell you. That's adultery. How is that adultery? To, it is adultery Based on in the, in the, according to the Bible. But we don't follow the Bible. Uh, that's fine. So why are you using, why are you using Islamic ruling because I'm, I am <laughs> for the Bible? Because I'm comparing, you came here to question. So my my point is that we actually can be set free. Okay. It is a loophole, oh. but it's a oh. massive one. Where, where did you get this loophole from? Where did you get this loophole from? It is, let me answer. It's not in the Bible. It is proven that most men have an issue with pornography. Therefore, women can be set free because it is adultery. You know, but nevertheless, okay. let's say that a man does not, uh, you know, he abuses a okay. woman, she can separate, yeah. and he doesn't watch pornography. You know what? For us, it's more important to serve God than to please okay. our flesh. Okay. Exactly. Okay. No, I have a response. I have a response. Okay, go on, go on, Adnan. Now you just, you just, you just gave a, you just gave a fatwa, a ruling <laughs> from the Bible. For, from the Bible. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Right, be patient. You. Be patient. You said looking at another woman lustfully yes. is adultery. That's yes. right. Okay. Now, according to the Jewish law, according to wait, Which wait, not under. wait, be, be, yes. be, 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 be patient, be patient. Okay, sure, of course. Which law was Jesus promoting in the Gospel uh, of Matthew? He what was, law? He was, the Jewish law. Can you give us a context? He came with a new. Co a I know, answering. I know where you're gonna go. He, so, so why do you ask me? When Jesus said, you don't, when he Jesus doesn't said, like the answer. That's why sister, you know where I'm going. When Jesus don't said, follow the law, which law was he talking about? That's the, the that's law. The law that the Jesus law Christ Moses. says. The law that Jesus Christ says is love God. That's the first love, and love people, and that fulfills the whole of the law, the whole of the commandments. But the first Ten commandment, yes. the first commandment is to love you're, God. You're delivering a speech now. I'm My question is, I'm not, claiming that Jesus. Was was telling people to follow the mosaic. Give me the verse, please. Mosaic law, verse, the Gospel please. of Matthew. Verse and chapter. Yes, Thank you very much. the Gospel of Matthew, chapter five. Get okay. it out.
Let's do it at full verse context. On, verse, on. verse 30 on. Okay, okay let's. Right? Okay. Matthew Wait. 5. Yeah, Matthew verse, 5. Verse what? Yeah. Verse 17. Read verse 17. Okay? Okay. That anyone who goes out of which, this law, which law? Which law? You tell me. You guys are ignorant. You don't okay, read your Bible carefully. Five, five words. We don't have to be personal. We, we, no we five five words. Five Thank words. you. All Chapter right. 5, verse 17. Yeah. Verse 17. Yeah, read now carefully and tell me which law. Okay. okay, say, do not think that I have come to do away with the law of Moses. Ah. And the teachers wait, 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 wait. of the Stop prophets. There. Stop there yeah. for a second. When but I ask you, I have when I ask you, my, my sister, my sister, wait, be patient. Don't be like Bible thumper. Wait, wait, wait. I will, I will. This is a conversation, okay, right? Sure. Okay. I asked you and I claimed that Jesus was upholding the Mosaic law. You yeah. challenged me and said, no, he was talking about the law of love. Right? This is yeah, yeah, and I yeah. find the verse. Yeah. No, you're clearly wrong, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Am on. I wrong? Am I Please wrong? Please carry on your point, thank you. My point is that Jesus came to uphold the Mosaic law. In the Mosaic law, watching porn is not adultery. Adultery is actually having the act with no. a woman. Yes. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, that's no, the point. No, wait. No, no, In, no, no, what do you mean no? no, 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 no. How do I talk to people like this? The question is wait, wait. wait. Sister, open open the book of Leviticus. Open. No, I'll show you. I'll show no, you what adultery. Why are we jumping from verse to verse? Wait. Why? Okay. okay. Can I? To people like you, my sisters, mm -hmm. respectfully, my sisters, to explain to people like you mm -hmm. that you spin the Bible as you go along. No. You keep making. Wait, no. wait, wait. Okay, let me know. You, Thank you. You make, keep making things up, mm -hmm. and when you're challenged with the Bible, mm -hmm. you have nothing to say. Now, when I said to you, Jesus was upholding the Mosaic law. Mm -hmm. You came back with something okay. claiming that the law Jesus was talking about was can the I law respond? of love. Okay, now, now wait, you can yeah. respond. We can respond. It now, if, at, yeah. pay attention. Yeah, of course, if, yeah. if Jesus was talking about the Mosaic law, according to the Mosaic law, adultery is the act. Exactly. Having sex with a woman you're not supposed to have sex with, that's adultery. So you made up a fatwa standing here, exactly. that porn is adultery, so a woman okay, can yeah. free herself. You cannot free yourself. If your husband is a porn addict, are you listening? If your husband is a porn addict, according to the Bible, you cannot free yourself. You're, no, you're, you're the only the only way you can free yourself is when he actually commits no. the act. No, yes. you're wrong. I'm, you're, you're wrong. wrong because I'm wrong. he met you. He met you're you five. Wrong. One second. He met you five. Uh, Twenty-seven. Is Jesus said right? Whoever looked at another woman with lust after her, um, and, and is, he, he committed adultery with her in his heart. So just exactly in the heart. Just, in uh, the heart. Are you that's, reading? That's, that is the one. That's a sin. Just like Are you Jesus, reading? Of course, it's a sin. Just when Jesus says that if you hate another person, you commit my, murder. My sister, so, okay. this, no, is not, this is not a You're battle. You're justifying watching porn, which what? is a sin. <laughs> Why did he do that? Uh, are you okay, not justifying? No, he's not. No. Okay. You are you? Are you? Amy, I thought you, you, I thought you said to, to be respectful. I am you're, being respectful. You're making, you're making a false allegation okay. on a man it's when he didn't say that. Okay, I'm sorry if I made a false allegation. Okay. Is porn a sin or not? Of course Absolutely. it's a sin. Okay. Wait, wait. So, now, okay. You, can, I, can I not say yes. something? Let you me, you me, just me, read a verse. Wait, okay. wait. Okay. Listen, hold on, hold the on. problem, the problem let with... Me, let me add something wait, to what can I Can I respond no, to your points? No, hold on. Can I respond? That point, I want to consolidate on the point she's made so far. When the when Ten Commandments, when Christ came, he said, I did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. That means that it was not complete. He came to complete it. However, how did Christ complete the law? He made it simpler. He explained no, no. it further. Why don't you read the Bible? Further. Instead so, of your commentary, we'll listen so, to the Bible. So, read the Bible. Matthew, that's what Matthew, I'm saying. Matthew 5, 17. Matthew 5, 27, like she rightly said, how do rape happen? It happened by conceiving it in your heart after watching porn. So okay. Can I, lost Adnan, that can I respond to this? Yes. yes. Okay. I'll respond to, to both of you in a minute. Okay. So let me finish. You can okay, understand. go on. Go on, go on. Because the Bible said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. When you conceive sin in your heart, that's when you have it happens. Mm. So when you look at a woman lost fully. Yes. What should you do? That's how rape happens. No, no rape? Rape. We have to conceive. So when you look someone lost fully, that's rape? I say. In which language? I say. That's what initiates okay. so, the shoot of so, wait, so, wait, so, 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 wait. Can you not digress from the topic? Yeah, exactly. No, I'm, yeah, come, I'm come back you, to I'm giving you instances. We are discussing divorce okay. and marriage in the Bible. Yeah. The wait, we're trying to show you, you the how the Bible that, destroys women. How? How? Yes. Let me explain. The wait, there are social implications of this law. Yeah. So let's, yeah. before we go there, yeah. Yeah. let me let me just clarify, just one second. Amy, you know the same passage in Matthew 5? 
Okay? When somebody sins with their right eye, what does Jesus say to do that? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Let me respond. Let me respond. No, no, wait. She, it was her point, so I want to respond. No, and then you can. Look, look, I'm not saying only her. I'm saying first, let her respond, and then you answer. I have That's right. No, but I just want you to know because it's the same passage. It's the same passage in Matthew 5 29. When somebody sings with the right eye, what should they do according to Jesus? Can I respond on your behalf? Yeah. Of okay, course. good. My sister gave me permission to go ahead. Do you need a permission? Yes. For everything you do? I do respect each other. Oh, yeah. Right. The, my request is don't throw fatwas <laughs> that we have to discuss for half an hour and then you can, you say, my sister, you are the one who threw the fatwa in. She you know what fatwa? Me. You, she you me. made a ruling from because the Bible. You, you, you to made something up from the Bible you, and we're now spending half an hour trying to refute it and then you hand it over to her. This is not fair. Christianity are treated worse you, than in Islam, but the reality is that that's not. Have you truth. been to a Muslim country? Right. Why? Have you met Muslim women? Can you please? Where, where, I, where are you from? Seen, I, where, where, it doesn't where, matter. Don't, let's not sister, make it personal. You, I, I can check. I can guarantee you. If she's not fucking, then you stop with Muslim women. You don't know what Muslim women are. You don't know how they live. You have no idea how they live. They're, they are possibly that. You know why? What's going on in Iran? Like, wait. What's going on in Iran? Sister, please. Iran, come on. Can, can you give me? What's going on in Iran? Okay. Come on. That's it. Okay. Islamic world yeah. starts from Morocco all the way to Bangladesh. So and and you're affected by the news. You are a victim of Fox News, CNN, NBC, Sky yeah. News, and BBC. You, you people are so. I'm sorry I to say. I'm not insulting you. I'm, I'm speaking generally. People in the West, in general, and and Britain, in Britain in particular, mm -hmm. they watch the news. They live in their homes in in outskirts of these main cities. They don't know what's happening. So can Wait, you clarify, let me please? let me let me Thank let me, you. let me finish. Yeah. Muslim women in the in the Muslim world. Mm -hmm. You can only know about them when you go and meet with them, sit with them, talk with them and see how they live. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, have you done that? Yes. Yeah, so when I went to Egypt, for example, okay. I um, I couldn't see, in Sharm el Sheikh especially, I didn't see any Shama women. At, I'm answering, Egypt. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Thank you very Shama much. She, she will even, help us. She will help us. Right. Right. By the way, we are digressing now. I went Let's get back to the I went to topic. Turkey. There, is, there was no women around. Now, in, in Turkey, there are no women? There was no Which women around, I said, because the women were... I didn't see any women. Now, You didn't see any women in Turkey? What's going on in Iran? Iran, is that why are you mentioning Iran being, again? Because why not? Because you ask you you're saying that women you basically wait, say wait. that women in Christianity are treated. Do you know what's happening to women in France? In Do you know what's happening to reality is that we are all over the place. Let's get back to that topic. Coming into Europe okay. rather than the my, Middle my, East to seek refuge because they get better treatment. You're getting passionate now. They get better treatment in in this, this continent no. rather than in the Middle East. No, no. Now, Do you know what? Okay, there are French women. The wait, wait, brother. There, brother, brother. But wait, wait. Brother there are French is, women in France who look so like you. So you just have hair, to your hair color, your eye color. Even after you told her, she's still hijab. responding. They want to wear hijab. I thought, she's, I, I wait, thought she respects no, you. No, no, no. That's not Why fine. In, I, hijab, I, I, yeah. in I, France. I, yeah, there is in a hijab France, ban. Are you Polish? It doesn't matter where I am. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> it does like, matter. In Poland. Wait, my sister. In Poland. Wait. In Poland. In France, in Czech Republic, mm -hmm. most of the Eastern European countries, okay, women with hijab are being attacked on daily basis, brutalized, beaten, the hijabs have been pulled. What peace, what what peace and what harmony and what love are you talking Angel, about? Angel. Okay, wait, and, and wait, wait, let me finish, wait, let me finish, okay. The so-called Christian countries where Muslim women Converts, you know how many women convert to convert to Islam? English, British women in Britain, thousands of. Why? Who is who's who's? Just like don't. many in the in the Middle East are converting to Christianity. They're many not. People. They're not. Of course you're you're there wrong. Are. Many people you're have come to this country as refugees because in a, in because they were born by the Christians. You're right. Yeah. Because they were born by the Christians. So they come here because okay. they cannot okay. leave Islam. You know what Islam happens? Okay. Can you, know you get back to the topic, wait, wait. guys? Come on. You know what happens? Let's get back to the topic. Because now I could you, know, you, know, you can't you, argue again. You're, no, no, no. no. I, hold on, hold on. Amy, I asked you the quote. Amy, in Christianity, we don't have that. We have excommunication. We don't kill people. I'll tell you how it works. Excommunication is Catholic. I'll tell you how it works. That's Catholic. You killed only Jesus. Then said, man, who didn't do nothing. Countries like Iraq. Countries like Syria and Iraq and Yemen, the they get bombed. 
Yeah. They get bombed by some of these Western countries. What happens? They go to refugee camps. Then your missionaries turn up yeah. with their Bibles. Because we love the wolves, them. the wolves. No, you pray on the vulnerable. Wait, 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 wait. Is that why they, 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 they were bombed? You pray on the vulnerable. Why don't you? Is that why they were bombed? To share the gospel. Is that why they were bombed? Because, because of love. People bombing people that are not love. Christians. I think go back to the topic. Go back to the topic. So how can you say they're not Christian? They come to the cross. Anybody. They get buried under the cross anybody. when they die. Listen, listen. Anybody. When they die, they get buried under the cross. Anybody that in the, in the cemetery is full of crosses. Listen, all the soldiers. Listen, they have a cross. Anybody that the ceremony that when they die is cross. You can cross. help cross all you okay, want. Can we get back on the topic, please? Why don't these listen, missionaries listen. go to George Bush? Why don't they go to people, people, the leaders? People. Guys, guys, let's get back on the topic. Come on. Politics will never end. Instead of, instead of, instead of bringing the gospel. Are they allowed to divorce in the twenty? Yeah, yeah. And she said, no. By the way, we're going to go back. We can to the get topic. separated, but not divorced. Even if they're point. getting abused. I'm making a final no, no, you Instead keep of, a point instead of, you don't sister, allow sister. Us to yeah, yes, we okay. will. Okay. We will. Okay. 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 Let me read this passage okay. because you know let's, the. Let's come. Let's so come off politics. Cross all let's you come off politics. Earlier, you said you had an answer to the question I asked from Matthew 5. And he says, look, let me read it and then you tell me the answer. So there are two things. On one condition. Yeah. As long as you will not interrupt because you don't know how to I, keep conversation, okay. you keep interrupting. Well, yeah. so, no, no, he's the one engaging her. She was talking as well. Come on, let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let him, let him stay yeah. well. Let him. You can't just question. say one person, they were both talking. I, I, I will. Uh, but he was the one. Away and feel me. Do you want to just have one to one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so, let him ask so we started. We, we, we started. No, no, no. We, no, he can ask you questions. You can, I can support you. Can support you. Oh yeah, and, and he can support you. He can, you can ask him. Like good. I don't need to. <laughs> time. No, I, not I, that I, I need any. I, I will not. I will not interrupt. Okay, so we are talking about earlier. We were talking about divorce. Okay. Yes. Now Amy mentioned a point from the same chapter, Matthew five, because in Matthew five it talks first about adultery and then it talks about divorce. So adultery talks about in the way here. You that have. That was not our last question. Go to the question you were asking. It is from here. It is from here. Okay. You said you will not interrupt. So let me Sorry. finish it first. It says here, you. This is Matthew 5:27. It says, "You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. That's but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adul adultery yes. with her in his heart. Mm. So not literally, yes. but in his heart. So here Jesus is clearly saying this is metaphoric. Okay. Now it goes on to say. If your right eye causes you to stumble, okay, gouge it out and throw it away. Is that metaphoric or literal? It's literal. Literal. Yes. So, so all the Christians wait, 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 who wait, 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 wash porn, they should be blind wait, by now. Wait, wait. They are going straight to hell. Uh, it means ask her, has she ever seen, seen with her eye? This verse means. Let, let, means me, let, me, let me answer yeah. that question. Yeah. The verse you just quoted. So it's when, literal. When yes, oh it my is, God, it and is. you still have. You're lines. gonna, you're gonna have. I thought I thought this time. Yeah, yeah fine enough. Adnan, give, give her time. Give her time. Okay, go. On. So what that verse is saying <laughs> is this: If your right hand, right eye, right eye, right eye, right hand, left left leg, your My head, any part of your body. No, they can't see porn. Only the right eye can. Whatever. Or left eye. Once it causes you to sin, you should remove it. It's, it's better for you to go to heaven with one eyes mm -hmm. than to go to hell with these two eyes. Mm. What is simply saying, let me explain it to you. If I hold on to something that's going to lead me to hell, I should cut it off. That's what it means. Okay. So if my eyes is actually making me to sin and I cannot stop to sin, I should blend my eyes. eyes. Okay, yes, so Stella, let me ask you this. Have you, have you ever seen anyone lustfully other than your husband? Well, if, if I tell you no, you will not believe that. Don't so, tell me lies. That's all I'm asking. The answer is no. So you have never seen anyone lustfully? No. What about you, Amy? Um, I, I, I think it's a very personal question. Of course it's a personal yeah. question. The answer is no. Yes. No, don't answer on a Biva. She can answer by herself. Mm -hmm. So Amy, have you seen anyone lustfully in your life? I, I don't want to talk about my lust. Okay, I'll course. take that as a yes. Okay, because she's no, reluctant. No, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have as well. No, because be all, men no, are, all men and women are I, sinners the, the, in their lives. I, I okay, wanna... so I don't think you're a saint that you have never seen anyone no, lust for you. No, but the point is... Now, do you know... Wait a minute. No, you do you know any question? question? Stella, I answer you, okay, so fair I enough. Respect you so Stella, can you, I can you show you me a single Christian who has removed his eyes because he saw someone lustfully. Do you know anyone? Do you know anyone? Listen, listen. In the last if, 2,000 years, brother, if, Hashim, if, last 2,000 listen. years, man. Well, even, even 200 years, doesn't let matter. Me, Has me, anyone done this? Let me explain that again to you. Go on. 
if I'm watching pornography, yeah, because that's where this whole thing. By the way, it's not just porn; it's anyone lustfully, anyone. Whether it's live, online, say, doesn't matter. Anywhere. If I see this man, yes. I say I want to commit. <laughs> if I see this man, I say is, I want to commit. Is, no, 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 no. Let him make a point. Let him make a point. Go on, go on. Like okay. Go on, finish, if Stella. Finish, if Stella. I see this man and say I want to commit sex with this man. That's where the. No, no, not even, not listen, even that. Just looking listen, lustfully. Listen, yes. thank you. Because that lost food is gonna make me commit sin. Either I rape a man, or I rape a woman. You're making That's a point. Good. So what Bible is telling you? Remove yourself from that situation. You haven't answered my question, it. by the way. No, my question, just... my question was, do you know any Christian? Who has actually literally gouged out the eyes? If that Christian literally is. Have they done it? That's listen, a question. Listen, if you ask questions, you should wait for the response. No, I asked you the second if time you're you evading it. Christian, that particular Christian, who yeah. you, I don't know this Christian, is. Anyone is I'm saying, anyone. Sin, anyone. Particular sin, and it's his eyes that is making him. Is it that he blinds himself, and if he do not do it, at the end of the day, he's going to hell? Okay, that's so right. all the Christians, all the Christians, including Amy, if they have seen anyone lustfully, even once they're going to hell, right? The Bible wants you to remove yourself from that situation. Will they go to hell? That's a question. If you continue, if you die okay, in so, that sin, yes. So even if Jesus died for you, they are still going to hell. If Jesus, let her answer. Wait, 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 wait your turn. Wait your turn, Amy. You said you'll not interrupt. Sorry. Okay, go on. I have yeah, said, Jesus please. Christ died for our sins. Yes. He made it easier for us to have self-control. So if I'm in that position, I have a second chance to repent. Or if I cannot repent, remove myself, I should blind myself so that I will. Oh, so, you will, so first you will repent and then, and then you remove your eye. You have to remove yourself from the situation. If you repent, do you still have to remove the eye? The, re the repentance is removal of your eyes. Will the repentance, okay. will, it, will it actually still, there's a condition to remove the eye if you repent it? What did he say? If this, if, if this eye is going to lead you to hell, are you, are you, are you listening to yourself? This, this is yes, called on, yes, on yes, the spot for us. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're if making the rules as they go along. To lead me you to you hell. are the most radical Christian I've met in my life. No. You know that. Listen, if this eye is going mm. to lead me to hell, lead me, which means I will not stop. But Jesus died for you. Listen. Doesn't matter what you do, he's died for you. You ask questions, you should wait. Scripture. Okay, so. Hold on, you're saying that you're not allowed to sin at all after no, you have accepted no, Jesus let Christ? Let me answer, let me answer. Go on. No. So this is a, a misunderstanding of Christianity. Um, the Bible you, says... You said you're not going to come in. I'm gonna no, no, come no in I, I, I asked her. I asked her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Fine, I'm going. So this is a misunderstanding. <laughs> the Bible, God calls us in the Bible to be holy. And it says exactly. that if you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, but you continue to sin, that you, then you're a liar. Does that mean that we, we won't sin anymore? No, we will sin. So what happens but if you continue? Answer, yeah, what happens we, if you continue to sin? We, That's a question. We, yeah. we have to keep turning away. We, we have to keep turning to God and ask him for repentance. So, I'll give you an example, you know, well, like the sister said, the rule, uh, like the sister said about grace, removing Paul. the eye. No, no, I got it better doesn't one. Mean that okay. we, I got a better one. Uh, it doesn't mean we literally remove the eye. We have to remove everything that in our lives that causes us to sin. Yes. Is it the internet? Is the internet causing you to watch pornography? Amy, that wasn't my question. You're going off tangent. That is the question. So the answer is, you're going off tangent. We need to... Um, can you still it? sin? Can, the eye. question was, can you still sin after you've accepted? To, Listen we, to the question because you'll we'll, we'll make the same mistake know. again. Yeah. Yeah. As a Christian, as a Christian, as a born, you're a born again Christian. Is it, is it okay. a sin to kill brain cells? Wait, 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 wait. Are you are you are you both born again Christians? <laughs> you're both born again Christians. Do you, know, do you know what is born again? <laughs> yeah, you have accepted Jesus Christ and as your savior, yeah. and he's is, once you've accepted him as a savior. Okay, can you as a Christian still continue to sin? A Christian can fall into sin without knowing that she has committed Can you sin. continue to sin? That's the question. So, if, listen, because there's what we yeah. call commission of sin and omission of sin. And on omission and it's called sin. So I might do something to her in the eyes of God is sin, but I didn't know that I committed sin. Okay, let me read from First John because you guys are not giving a straight answer. The answer is actually in the Bible. It's in First John chapter 3, yes, uh, beginning from verse number 4. It says, no one who is born of God will continue to sin. Yes. Okay. No Are you guys born of born of of of, uh, of God? Yeah, which yes. means yes. to have the Holy Spirit. Yes. So and it means that we are our our sins are as as uh, as white as snow. It says. So what it means that we are justified by faith. We're justified by. You won't let me finish, Amy. It means that you go on okay. a tangent again. No, because okay. Please. Okay. My I question. Apologize. All I asked you. Please all I asked you was a simple question. If yeah. you are born of God, 
it says here you will not continue to sin. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Okay? Right. Right. okay, so do you, if you, if you continue to sin, this is what it says. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. Mm -hmm. This is how we know who the children of God are mm -hmm. and who yes. the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right mm -hmm. is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. That's okay, correct. so if, if you, if you continue to sin, then according to this, you are the child of a devil. But do you yes. understand? Okay? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Do you agree? So if you continue to sin, mm -hmm. do you still continue to sin? Or you have okay. stopped sinning as well? Do you Let understand me. the yes. context? What you, what I just you read it now, you are correct. Yeah. If you continue to sin, you are a child of the devil. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, Bible said that anybody that said that he's without sin is, is, a, is a liar. Meaning that some people commit sin without even knowing. So the Bible is so saying, how are you saying? Listen, 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 I'm explaining it to you because you don't understand that. Okay. So, it, um, if you say you're a child of God, you're not supposed to commit sin. Who is the child sin. of the devil according to this? If you commit sin. Which is all, which is all Christians, right? The sin you commit by knowing what you are doing. And there deliberate, are of course, deliberate, deliberate sin. sin. Yes. And some you, you, so do you know any Christians who don't deliberately sin? That, yes, there's some sin you do by omission. No, no, do you know any Christians no. who do not deliberately sin after accepting Jesus Christ? I don't wait, know. Wait, 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 brother. I don't know. Do you know anyone? I don't know, but there's sin. Okay, so everyone is, a, everyone is a child of the devil. Listen. All the Christians. Listen. All the Christians, Listen. All the Christians Listen. are child of the devil. Quoting scripture. Really? Okay, you, you quote it Listen. and tell me who the children Sometimes. of the devil are. In that Sometimes passage, you, you commit sin without knowing. No, no, I said deliberate sin. So, I told you specifically deliberate sin. Of course, if you are so every Christian deliberately sins. Do you agree? No, every Christian, anybody who is the Christian, somebody that is Christ like. You know, to be honest, look, your own Bible is your own enemy. Because I've shown you a passage where it says that, that you cannot get divorced as a Christian woman, even in the 21st century. Yes, the lady here, the la lady here, she said that you can only you can only separate and you cannot divorce. Okay, and you said there was a loophole, but that loophole actually that loophole is in fact in fact of the, of of something which is metaphoric. Because if you took no no if you took that loop, loophole literally, because the same passage says pluck out of your eye. Yes. So you have to take that also literally. Finally, finally. Can finally. I not? Can yeah, yeah, because it's going to continue. Okay. It's going to continue. Okay, okay. two minutes. Go on, two minutes. Okay. Two, two minutes. Go on, two minutes. So he's yeah. misquoting scripture. So the Bible I read the says, scripture to you. So the Bible says that all have seen and fallen short to the glory of God. Now, if we go back. I didn't even read that passage. We, if we go back, I said the Bible says now, if we go so back to the, I misquoted 1 it. John, it says um, in chapter on, 1. Um, from What's verse 8, I'll read two verses. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Yes. If we confess our sins and he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have no sin, we make him a liar and the word is not in us. Exactly. Now the point is, why... Which, which why passage was that? So this is John in uh, 1 John, 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 1 John, 1 John chapter 1 from verses 8 to 10. So not 1 John 3, the one I read. Because Listen. we're putting the, the context. 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 Now, the context. Wait, wait. In that, it doesn't say the son of the devil, child of the devil. It doesn't. The Just Bible, the, God that is the context. Us, that if we were trying to get saved by okay. our deeds, Fine. we will go to hell. Wow. This is why What's you need the Savior. This is okay. why you need Jesus Wait. Christ. It is preaching mode. This yeah. is why you need the Holy Spirit. This, this is called panic mode, actually. Okay. Okay. Not even preaching. Yeah, you're wrapping up. It's panic mode. I'm wrapping up. but you did not touch. Amy, with all due respect, you haven't touched First John. Three, the one I mentioned. You said I misquoted it. Can you tell me which part I misquoted from First John three? So the point. So you. So the the thing is, children of God. Okay. We we under because we are children of God. No, no. Who are Jesus the children Christ, of the devil? That was the question. Jesus Christ forgives our sins. Does that mean we have a license to sin? No. no. If we carry on sinning That's deliberately, not... we are liars. That's why okay. Christians so what does, who keep so, on so sinning. Amy, they're liars. Exactly. But we, who are the children of the sin. devil according we, to 1 John 3? Who are the devil? Who are the children of the devil? Who are they? Um, are those who are, um, who don't accept Jesus Christ as a... No, oh. no. You are misquoting the Bible. Oh, you are misrepresenting the Bible. No. Did you see that? You Did you see that? You see, this is, this is, no, no. Allah, this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Show her in black and white that she misquoted the, her own Bible. Anyone who continues yeah. to sin is the child of the devil. So yes. all the Christians the who continue to sin are child of the devil the after they accept Jesus Christ. Yes. I'm not the one who's yes. no, you yes. sinning. Of course, deliberately sinning. Those are the children of the devil. 
Do you understand his point? Amy, do you understand his point? Wait, 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 wait. He is saying, he is saying. No need to shout, guys, calm down. Calm down, calm down. That's all passionate. He is saying, he read, he read. First John 3. He read first John 3. And he is saying that those who continue to sin, which is all Christians, which is all Christians, because the Bible says that. Wait, wait, wait. Amy, Amy, come. Yeah, go and read it. First John 3. Go and read it. Wait, wait, wait. Read it, it'll be against you. Bible is telling you, and you read it, and you confirmed it, that all Christians will continue to sin. Yes? Yes? He said we continue. He said all human beings will continue to sin. Okay, okay. Christians. Christians are humans or not? Maybe they are not. Christians are humans or not? They are humans. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. we are okay. adopted as okay. humans of God. Okay, okay. So Christians will continue to... The Bible confirms... The Bible confirms that Christians will continue to sin. Then no, the Bible tells you... The then the, now you have backup as well, because they, someone knows you, you know, there's... Um, Shaitan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So the Bible is telling you those who continue to sin are the children of the devil. Just read that, just read that. Okay. The answer no, no. No one who is born of God will continue to sin. And the Bible tells you you will continue to sin. No, no, just read that. The answer is okay. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, mm. nor is anyone who mm. does not love their brother and mm. sister. Okay, so yeah, according so to this, Amy... Okay. No, because we do yeah, yeah. all the time. One okay. second. Okay. So, so can you answer from this? Yes. Who the so children the of the devil are? So the Once is, again. Like, listen, listen. So the point is yeah. that um, because we are children of God, we are forgiven. This is why... You can say that. No, no, you didn't say that. Listen to me. You can say that. This is why in Isaiah, is this... Oh, go and tell me the passage. I knew it. Because you can't... You cannot deal with this passage. You're all over the place. Don't shout. Don't shout. Don't shout. Come now. Let us reason together, said the Lord. Don't you made it clear that be as scarlet, are they should be as white as That's what I said. Don't be but as red like children. Oh, she's reading. They she's should reading. be as wool. So the point is, what? yes, you know, we shouldn't be behaving like children, like, say, like uh, children of Satan. The Bible says we would be liars, but we should strive to be holy. And if we do sin, we, agree with we you. have an advocate, which is Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says, who forgives our sins. You're not answering. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Well, because I'm explaining. If you continue to sin, it says you're the child of the devil. Yes. And where do the devils go? That's In hellfire. Sin. So that's, that's yes. Of course sin. I'm talking about deliberate sin. Yes. Okay. But the Bible says so, we should be holy because God is holy. Okay. Amy, Amy, do, you know any, do you know any do you know any Christian who doesn't sin? If anybody sins, the Bible says that we have an advocate with the Father, which is Jesus Christ. How okay. do you, what do you think about that? What do I think about someone who dying for your sin? to pay his blood in human sacrifice, I think that's pagan. No, the Bible okay, says... Okay, with that, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Bible says that with no shedding of blood, there is no remission. Exactly, of pagan. That's why Jesus died blood, on the cross, so that blood Christ and human Christ sacrifice is pagan. By the way, you're not going to be forgiven without Jesus. You know, Amy, honestly, I want to have a nice discussion with you guys. But this is all over the place. Forgiven when they repent. That's what you just. No, said. you don't have forgiveness. You only have payment by blood. Just like she said. You will never that's go the to forgiveness. Yeah, that's that's the forgiveness. Thank you. No, it's thank not you. a payment. No hard feelings. No, 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 Sorry. No, apologies for the question. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You, you are a sinner. Hey, hold on. Wait, we'll my continue talking to you. We have nothing against you. And I advise you. And I advise you to spend some more time with Muslim women so that you understand how happy they are. Inshallah. All right. Thank you, guys. Just love the women in Iran. They're not happy.